I just want to say thank you for coming today. Um, as we let you know and let the world know about Make Marshalltown Home, a program to provide $10,000 grants for new homes in Marshalltown. And so we have uh, three individuals who have been involved with this program uh, and it's coming to inception. And so we'll start out with um, Joe Carter, who is the president and CEO at Marshalltown. Uh, he is also the incoming board chair for the Chamber of Commerce and is the a member of the Chamber of Commerce Housing Committee uh, where all of this good work started. So Joe, I'll let you take it away. Thanks, Jessica, and thanks for uh, everyone for being here today. This is an absolutely great day for Marshalltown, the community, uh, as well as uh, our county. Uh, I'm blessed to be the one who uh, gets to speak about this. As Jessica said, uh, I am the incoming chair for the chamber, and I'm also the uh, or a part of the housing committee. And so first I want to call out that housing committee, uh, which uh, started with uh, Lynn Olberding, uh, the president and CEO of the chamber, uh, Jessica Kinzer, who just spoke, and myself. We uh, started this up uh, in the fall of, uh, fall of 2019, and it all came about because of what the chamber had as its initiative and goal. Uh, we want to take this town, the chamber sees that as a vision to take this town to 50,000 people by the year 2030, as well as the county to 70,000 people by the year uh, 2030 as well. We want to cut the commuter rate in half and we think that's a big part uh, to getting our population uh, to uh, nearly uh, twice as large as it, as it is today uh, by cutting that commuter rate uh, in half by 2024. Uh, we know that we'll do those things. And as we looked at all the statistics and studied all the studies that were out, uh, anecdotal evidence, uh, anecdotal evidence even that I can add uh, in being here 26 years watching employees having a hard time finding the right housing uh, that they needed and or wanted in this community was a difficult situation. Difficult for myself and my family when we moved here uh, in May of uh, uh, 1995, uh, 26 years ago. And uh, so we took all that information and said, we've got to build more housing in Marshalltown. We just do not have enough. There appeared to be uh, a lot going on in the multifamily housing uh, area, and so the chamber focused on, our housing committee focused on single family housing. Uh, I will say that Lynn Olberding did a ton of work in the very beginning of this with our committee, uh, surveying different uh, cities, and then Jessica uh, made the contact with McClure Engineering. We hired McClure. Uh, to do a study for us and they ultimately gave us a proposal that led to today and, and where we are with this situation with the home buyer incentive. Uh, so beyond that we also have on the committee John Dolly and Terry Busby. We added those two gentlemen to our group uh, as we worked along and we were going through the study process. Those two uh, deserve that recognition and they've helped us uh, along in this process. Uh, then I want to thank uh, the City of Marshalltown, number one, uh, and the Council for approving uh, to help pay for half of the McClure study. And then they were the first ones to jump on board and pledge $250,000 to this home buyer incentive. Uh, and then we were able to get quickly some other uh, folks to uh, add on to that. So we had Emerson, uh, we had uh, uh, John and Michelle Dolly individually, uh, we had Mechdine Corporation, the Clover family. And we also finished off with the county supervisors or the uh, Marshall County, all adding to this. We are still looking for some funders, but today is the day we're going to make the big announcement uh, of what we're doing moving forward with the home buyer incentive. Um, I, I just can't imagine a better thing that we're going to do. This is going to spur some growth, and where we are today is, uh, is going to spur some growth with housing. And so we're excited about all of that and getting to those goals that we all talked about. Uh, so today we announce uh, Make Marshalltown Home. Uh, this is the home buyer incentive that is for new home buyers, effective immediately uh, for any home that is uh, newly constructed uh, for $180,000 or more at value uh, for that home buyer to be able to get $10,000 at closing through this program. And we know from McClure's study, this is going to make a big difference in what we've got going. We've got to raise some more funds, but we're excited to get it started and kicked off today. And so I'm going to turn it back over to our MC, Jessica Kinzer. Thank you.
Thank you, Joe. And I, I don't think uh, Joe gets uh, enough credit for really figuring out how do you get to 50,000. And so this is just one strategy of how we make that happen. So uh, next I would like to introduce Mike Hayworth, who is the president of Rosemont Companies and the owner of the land that you see behind us uh, with all those for sale signs. So, Thank you, Jessica. Uh, good afternoon, and uh, it's great to be in Marshalltown. Um, as, as she said, I'm president of uh, Rosemont Companies, uh, developer of the South, uh, uh, South Ridge Estates uh, development. Um, we are uh, incredibly, incredibly happy to uh, be here in Marshalltown. Uh, we came down probably about, uh, I want to say we came down six months ago. Uh, got to meet Michelle, um, the whole team, Joe, Lynn, Jessica, um, Kurt Pauly with Five Star Real Estate. Um, and, and really just kind of fell in love with the community um, and, and the fact that you have a community that's this impactful and this dedicated to seeing their growth. Um, Joe set all, set all the statistics. Um, you guys are primed for success and uh, a program like this is second to none and you guys are doing the right steps uh, which attracts us to come here, work with you guys and hopefully uh, help you guys reach your goal of 50,000 uh, by 2024. So. Um, thank you guys for having us. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, we're here with Kurt Polly as well if you have specific questions about the lots. Uh, we're, we are about to get started on building one of the first homes, um, so feel free to reach out to them as well. Thank you. And uh, what, what Mike didn't share was there was a meeting that we were having with um, him and uh, Tim uh, Verheyen, who's also with Rosemont Companies and uh, a partner in, in what Mike is doing. And uh, we were talking about this incentive because it had just come through in the report and the recommendation, everything was underway in planning. And uh, Tim leaned, o leaned over to Mike and said, this, uh, I can't remember, what was it, Lynn? This seals the deal. This seals the deal. So uh, that was when we, we knew that what, what we were trying to do here to um, get builders to town uh, to build the homes that are already in demand uh, was was going to be successful. So thank you, Mike, um, for your being a part of Marshalltown and, and making Marshalltown home for individuals, uh, uh, both current residents and soon to be residents. So uh, with that, I will turn it over to Mayor Joel Greer for some final thoughts. I guess I threw my wife under the bus at the last one of these things, so I'd like to give her a shout out. Actually, she was on the uh, the board that was part of the Marshtown partnership that included the Chamber of Commerce when she was insisting that we needed to have a home study and that home study happened and then a, a few years passed well, it, it told us everything we already knew anecdotally around here we moved here in uh, September of 1986 there were four houses available in our price range and frankly two of them just really weren't going to cut it one was one was okay and the one we bought we've loved but we were just lucky it was available and so I, I do have to give Sharon some credit, the chamber credit, our, our city staff who has been very welcoming to any, anybody that would like to invest in town. And then nobody's mentioned the trip that Joe took a, a bunch of people down to Arkansas to see what can happen in the city that was about 25,000 and is now 50,000. He, he brought that idea back with us and brought those people back with us with the enthusiasm to do something like this. And about this time I should get onto the script. Uh, the thing that I enjoy most about being mayor in Marshalltown is uh, several things set us aside from our cohort. Sorry about the uh, truck traffic, only one person has honked at us so far. Our cohort is micropolitans, we're defined as having 25 to 50,000 people in a city in Iowa. We are the only city in that size that actually increased our population in a set period of time. And so knowing that we're increasing our population, but we didn't have the housing stock uh, presented an immediate problem. And here today we get to announce another great investment, another step forward, a huge step forward for increasing our population and decreasing the number of commuters. My business takes me, my profession as a lawyer takes me down to Des Moines a lot. I was really thrilled to have the 330 diagonal put in because we needed that uh, transportation mode. Well, that, that road was too good for legal business. There were too many deaths and accidents on it. But every time I would drive it, they all often have hearings at 8 o'clock in the Polk County Courthouse. Every time I would drive down there to be there at 8 o'clock, I would see just a, a trove of vehicles coming into town. 
and I knew that those people were not being here on Saturday at the soccer plot complex watching their kids. They were coming from other, other places. And this is to stem the tide of that uh, commuting problem that we've had. Another reason for uh, being proud of being the mayor and having it be fun is the collaboration that happens in this city and county. Uh, when you have a good idea and the right people, money comes, people come, and Rosemont's uh, um, investment here in Marshalltown is another good example of that. Uh, they have the backing of everybody that counts in town. We're, we're developing our, we're expanding our medical community. We're building a $26 million hospital. We're building a $16 million uh, clinic for doctors. We are absolutely going to cut the commuting from Marshalltown to other medical facilities so that we can have babies here and we can have a cath lab back here. Uh, I'd like to have mental health center, uh, mental health uh, uh, care and maybe um, inpatient treatment here. Those are the types of things that are, are just off on the horizon. We have been able to partner with the uh, chamber among those that we collaborate with and uh, uh, we're just uh, really excited about this. Uh, we're so proud of the um, uh, City Council for doing the $250,000 pledge. We're so proud of the Chamber for coming up with the first $250,000 and the idea to try to match it. Uh, we're glad that the county has uh, has contributed uh, some toward this effort. Uh, we have so many good corporate citizens here. Every time we have a major endeavor like this, they step up, and that includes not just Emerson and Lennox and Mechdyne, but the JBS as well. Uh, we have some major employers here that kind of get it, that we need to be um, taking care of our housing stock and having people stay here. Uh, part of the story of how we got to here is that uh, the city took a, a pretty big risk by buying land here in 2008 with a vision for having a secondary egress for cross-country estates. Uh, Cross-country estates right next to us here is the nicest housing development that we've had for single housing family uh, living spaces in the 30-some years that we've been here in Marshalltown. Uh, the Carter family is, is doing a similar thing with uh, very nice townhouses and condominiums over by the Allegiant Golf Course, but uh, this is the single family area to be developed, and uh, we're just tickled that uh, we, we took that risk. I appreciate the City Council. They take a lot of heat. It takes four out of seven votes to do something like this. This one was a giant step for them to take, and uh, I, I wish that uh, people would be more supportive of what they have done here because this is going to turn into 15 lots of nice single-family homes that we badly need and really appreciate. Uh, it's it's uh, not an easy thing as a city councilor with a vote to take that kind of a risk, and uh, we're pleased that uh, they did and they helped uh, get this innovation off the ground. At this time, I'm reminded of my speech coach telling me uh, the three three rules for public speaking are uh, be sincere, uh, be short, well I am, and be seated, my will. Thank you.